The arrival of the spirit of 76 in Onancock was a joyous event for town and Accomack County officials. For five years, they had been pursuing service to Tangier, this year lucking out when a ferry was found at a reasonable price. Still, it's going to cost a hefty $170,000 to operate the vessel its first year. And it's the people of Tangier Island over there who are being counted on to provide a good bit of that revenue. And that's kind of an iffy proposition. You see, at the moment, the only access they have daily to the mainland is a ferry to and from Crisfield, Maryland. Now they have a choice. We're anxious to see what kind of a reception we get. Jeannie Robertson is mayor of Tangier, population 800. She says her citizens have been well served by Crisfield, but she admits Onancock offers plenty too. The one advantage that we have is that we're going to be spending Virginia dollars in the state of Virginia, and we're going to be receiving Virginia services from Virginia. The Accomack County people who went along on the ferry ride are confident they can accommodate Tangier Islanders' retail, medical, and other needs. At least they hope so because the state, which is helping subsidize the service this year, is unlikely to do so again. We're going to have to generate sufficient revenue for the ferry to operate on its own. The ferry service officially begins this Friday. The fare for the round trip, $14. And say the sales tax hungry folks here on Anancock, tourists are also welcome to spend a few bucks here and take the ride to Tangier too. On the Eastern Shore, Joel Rubin, The Daily News.